Boys and girls, it is your boy Lovers here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're all having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video. I hope you're having an amazing day on this bank holiday Monday, and first off, hope you all had an amazing Easter. But the fun does not stop there, people. This channel continues rolling. Friday game, now into Monday, at home versus struggling Borenwood, down there near the relegation zone today. Blues have a real chance to continue this unbeaten run of 13 games going into this, and potentially could seal Borenwood's fate of relegation in these next few games, but it all starts today. Kevin Mayer has said on BBC Essex, prior to me starting this camera, he wants to continue the form. He wants wins. He wants to pick up points before the end of the season. Is the playoffs impossible? Not mathematically, but we need to start today. Come on! Um, I'm at uh, I think today is going to be a 2-0 win for Southend. Up the Blues. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce another member of the consortium here today, Jason. Hi. From Hong Kong? All the way from Hong Kong, yeah. What, what's the connection talk? How, how does this work with oh, South I'm End? A, I'm a South End boy. I grew up in South End in Thunders League. Uh, my mother still lives in the house in which I was born. So, you know, was supporting this team from the 70s onwards, stayed involved over the years, and now part of the consortium. So it's, it's been great. So family lines, still here with the club, working tens of thousands of miles away. I've got to say, that's... That's commitment right now. I'd, that's something us fans, I must say, love to see here. Yeah, look, it's been a great experience over the years watching this team play, and then how often you get a chance to actually get involved in owning and, and running the club that you grew up as a kid supporting. So it is a long way, but it's felt like a, a natural evolution to you know to take to take advantage and, and get involved in the club once uh, you know Ron was willing to, to move on. Hopefully, willing to move on. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, <laughs> Noah. So quickly, because I know you've got to run inside down there. Score prediction versus Bournemouth today. Go on, hit me. I think 3-0. I think, you know, I think kind of end of season coming in, right, Borum struggling a little bit. I think the pressure's off and I expect us to win comfortably today. I'm looking for a nice resounding victory. I love ending it on these, Jason, but as we know, we always end on something positive on this channel. So can you and me do a big up the blues? All right, the let's go for it. On three. One, One two, two, three. Up, up the blues! blues. The rain falling here in South Essex today, just like I hope, fingers crossed, Blues will be raining the goals in today, come on! Please! Yes! Yes! Come on, 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 come
Paddy Waldron. Names on both of those goals so far. Excellent start from him. 2 0! Chance for Bournemouth here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Time here at the hall, and I can't believe I'm going to be saying this after Friday's one all draw. It is so, so good to be winning 3 0 at half time here against a notoriously famous team for diving to just all round not playing a nice game of football to be 3 0 up. I said to people coming in here today, we needed to score that first goal, and guess what? We did. We went on, and for Nathan Ashmore, a keeper who I think all of us will look on as maybe goalkeeper of the National League, maybe, well, of course, behind Colin this season, but he's really not been great. Danny Waldron has been on fire, and just to finish off, Jason, the member of the consortium who I spoke to before the game, 3 0 prediction. What else can you ask? It's been a great half, guys. Just more of the same in that second half. Don't tamper with it too much. We are on fire. Just keep it going. Well done, Taylor. you're going down but boys I want more goals for us come on Oh, 
boys tying it up. <laughs> God, tough corner. Like that? Right then, all back at the car now. And you just know how this goes. We always happen most of this season because of that squad and the incredible ability of them. But when you win at home, away, whatever scoreline, you just got to do it, people. Get in there! 4 2 home win. And the two part I say concerns me the most. Two goals to see. That's a first in however long. I'll have to check and put somewhere down here how long ago that was. But four goals. You can't, you can't really argue that. It was a good afternoon. It could have been bad. But we take that. We take those little positives there. Danny Waldron. First time back in the starting eleven. And what a game he had. I think he had a hand in three assists in that game. All three of the goals that he had a hand in. It was an incredible display. Line. But it was behind. The whole team did well. Morton came in today. Stood out. Everyone did well. And it was good rotation from Kev and the management team. Just to switch up here and there. And it worked so well against Bournemouth. Out wide, we took the game to them and we looked amazing, boys. And now, a well-deserved rest. Eight days' time away at Wildstone. I'm going, boys. Let's hope you're all there. Get in this video and get another win. I'm going to wrap this up here, people. Hope you've enjoyed. My name's been Diversity. Subscribe down below. Peace.